The reconstruction of hypospadia cripples after multiple failed operations with penile deviation, a loss of penile skin and a completely strictured urethra up to the sphincter is challenging. We demonstrate the reconstruction of a patient with a completely destroyed distal urethra, deviation of the penile shaft and an extended stricture of the complete proximal urethra up to the urethral sphincter by an operation performed in three steps. In the first step, we reconstructed the proximal urethral stricture that was about 8 cm with buccal mucosa graft harvested from the inside of the upper lip. We performed a urethrostomy at penile scrotal junction and transected the distal part of the completely destroyed urethra. In a second step, the scarred penile skin was resected by preserving as much as possible of the subcutaneous tissue covering the corpus cavernosum. The penis was straightened by a modified yakia procedure and buccal mucosa graft from both sides of the cheeks and the lower lip was transplanted on the ventral aspect of the penis. Four months later, we tabularized the new urethral plate and covered the penis and the neo-urethra with a pedicled scrotal flap. The urethral plate is incised in a scrotal flap to cover the shaft 3 to 4 cm in width and about 8 cm long is developed. By preserving the subcutaneous tissue during resection of the scarred penile skin, there is now enough subcutaneous tissue so the tubularization can be easily performed. Closure of the neo-urethra by a running 6O monocryl suture after inserting a 20 French single-use catheter. Developing of a scrotal pedicled flap after placing stay suture, meticulously saving the vascularization of the pedicle. The flap is then transferred and fixed in the sulcus by subcutaneous sutures 5O vicryl. Closure of the scrotum by 4O vicryl subcutaneous sutures and closure of the skin by running sutures 5O vicryl rapid.
The Neomiatis is stitched to the skin by 6O Monocryl. An 18 French single-use catheter is inserted for one week and the suprapubic tube for three weeks. Urethroscopy and urethrography is performed three weeks post-operatively demonstrating a wide urethra. In such difficult cases, a three-step procedure can be useful and an excellent possible option leading to good functional and cosmetical results.